So hey guys, it's Kugel again and this time I've got a video for you guys. So probably you guys know from my Google Plus posts and all that, uh, my laptop's hard drive died. Well, it's not dead yet, but it's going to die. So I actually need to replace my drive. So I am going to make a video on how to replace your drive. It's pretty simple, but uh, you really don't believe how many people don't really know about this. So let's get started now. First things first, unplug your uh, laptop and all that. Pretty basic stuff. Flip it over, remove the battery, which is important, sort of, kind of, you know. Remove the battery, keep it aside. And also, one more thing, earth yourself, because that is really important, because you are going to handle electrical components. Please earth yourself, touch the wall or something like that. It's just there, it's important. Now remove the screws. Now I've already removed the screws, but normally screws are more or less on the edges of your laptops. Uh, here, 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 and here. There are two dry, two screws here, which is underneath the battery. Uh, so you also need to take care of that. So that is there. Remove the back cover, and you will be treated with the internals of your la laptop. Now in the laptop you can see all the components, there is an SSD slot which I will be using probably, I don't know, and there is a RAM slot, there is the uh, wireless adapter, and this is the hard drive. Now this is the problem which I have, this is causing me a problem, it does have a bad sector, a few bad sectors, and it's, it's probably going to die soon. So yeah, let's just remove that with the two screws, you just need to unscrew these two and uh, remove it. For removing it, slide it out. Take it out and here is your hard drive. Now this hard drive is inside an enclosure which you need to remove uh, these screws and uh, these this will slide out so I'll be doing that. So after undoing the screws this will just slide out. Uh, it, will, it should come out normally. So once this is out you have the enclosure which is well there's not a particular need for something like this but um, this will prevent it from uh, well light damages and heat so and also vibration so that is also real good so it is required so just that now let's get to the hard drive which i'll be installing now the the one which broke down is which well it's a samsung momentus which is probably the cheapest drive which i can buy from uh, any retailer so I didn't really have a lot of hope for this, but this was a one terabyte drive, so I wanted this to work, but eh, it doesn't work, so yeah, I guess so. So, I have bought a Western Digital one terabyte, which is a Western Digital Blue for fact, so I'm not really sure if you can see this, but it is a Western Digital Blue drive, so yeah. And it is a one terabyte, this model number, you can just see that. This was quite expensive, more expensive than my Samsung drive, so... Uh, I don't know, I will be stress testing this before uh, long so that I can value, well, I can understand that this will keep this, its promise of having my data, so yeah. So installing it in the enclosure is pretty simple. Just know, first of all, if you would have remembered how you took out the device, uh, uh, took out the previous hard drive, it was like this because, well, I can see a bit of a impression there. So this is how it goes in. And that is it. Now in uh, do the screws, which I'll be doing off camera. So I have installed the screws, which will help it from vibrating and stuff like that. It's really important. Just don't take shortcuts just in this thing so that, well, this is your data. And it's one of the most precious thing you will ever have. So yeah. Now installing the drive, it is just simple. You need to just put it here, slide it in, and make sure it is all the way in the way to make sure this that the screw holes will align itself so yeah it is inside now no for normal people you do need to put this two screws which will allow it not to slip out or something during travel and something like that and it's really really recommended you do that so well i'm not going to do that because i may have to take this drive out for backup and cloning my other drive and all that so now as this is a new drive it will not probably be formatted and it will not have any partition. It will all be unallocated partition. So what I'm going to do is, guys, to format your unallocated spaces available in your hard drive, I'm going to use uh, Windows 10 and Linux. I have a Ubuntu pen drive somewhere here. So I will be using both of that uh, as they are my daily drivers. So yeah. 
So I guess that much is it. Uh, I will keep you updated on how my status is going with the uh, repair process. And yeah, the uh, Z3, which I was talking about, is in repair and it still hasn't come to me. So yeah, I'm not really sure when it will be coming. So yeah, I guess that much is it. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time.